We want to show you something ordinary, maybe even unremarkable. It is used everywhere, by you, by me, by all of us. And it makes our life easier, cleaner and safer. It's even hard to imagine a world without it, but most of the time we take it for granted. Yes, we are talking about plastics. This multifunctional material has undoubtedly revolutionized our lives, but it is now undergoing its own revolution, how it is made. This change is hard to spot. In fact, at the molecular level, there is no difference at all. It is the same easy to use and important to reuse plastic. But there is an all important difference. You see, most plastics are made from petroleum, a finite source. Yep, the same stuff most of our cars run on. A growing number of plastics are now made from plants or other renewable alternatives, like sugarcane, one of the most productive plants on Earth. And that saves tons of CO2. How does it work? Well, you need space, a suitable climate and expertise. Brazil offers the perfect scenario, with the largest watershed in the world more than 2,000 kilometers south of the Amazon, where there is no tropical forest, just vast amounts of farming land. In order to grow big and strong, the sugarcane takes CO2 from the air. You remember photosynthesis from school, right? When it is fully grown, the sugarcane is then harvested. From there, it is taken to the mill to process it further. Here, the sugar cane is crushed up to five times. The juice coming out of the first press is mostly used to produce sugar. Subsequent presses extract residual sugars to make ethanol, which can be used as a biofuel or as the main ingredient in our I'm Green plastic. What's really clever is that in this process, nothing is wasted. The waste fibers, called bagasse, are used to power the mill using heat from steam to create electricity. It's therefore highly resource efficient and excess power often ends up on the national grid, helping to increase the share of renewables in the Brazilian electricity matrix. Even the ashes, together with the waste residues, the venas, are reused as fertilizers. This is where Brascom comes in. The bioethanol is dehydrated to produce ethylene, which is then polymerized into plastic resin in our nearby plant. This is the plastic that can be used to produce the same plastic products you use every day. When you make plastic from plants, you're saving finite resources and you're making a contribution in the fight against climate change. But the story doesn't end there. Plastic is under pressure to become a circular material. You can do your bit by making sure all plastics are recycled. Our I'm Green bio-based plastic is just as easy to recycle as the regular kind, but we're relying on everybody to do their bit. We can all learn the lesson from the sugar mill in Brazil. Here, nothing is wasted. Nature taught us that years ago. Brascom, nothing is wasted. Everything is transformed.